And I am rolling. All right, 37.3. And as I just told Lance, who had to put on a jacket because it's cold in here, for me, I've got two heaters behind me and it's, it's balmy for me. And I just told Lance that balmy, which I used to think meant, you know, hot, actually just means comfortable, like a balm all over your body. You, you feel comfortable. Part of our mission in this uh, show is to correct uh, Americans' grammar. It's, it's, grammar is always an issue. Well, more so. I mean, we hey, we could talk about that. How freaking uh, having to text everything has led to there, there's almost no comment after a, a, a every on all, I'd say what, at least 85% of online comments after some news story on a website have either a spelling or grammatical error. And it's not that the, all these people are, are grammatically ignorant, it's just that the process of, of texting um, often you know, doesn't emphasize making sure you're, what you're saying is, is is correct. What about, all right, so let's go on to a topic of interest to the, to the public. We're going to talk about the uh, release the memo deal. Yeah, and what your opinion was, what? Well, all right, so it, it comes from Nunez, Devin Nunez, who's this congressman out of Central California, um, and his aides have apparently written a four page and I don't know very much about it except that yeah my suspicion is that it's it's overblown BS but it comes out of Nunez's office and it's a I believe a uh, a, a brief summary of uh, potential bias against Trump on the part of the FBI is that right um, well people are only guessing at this point what it is but go ahead and expand a little bit. Tell me what you were gonna say. Well, that, um, I mean, my main argument is gonna be that, you know, the FBI is, is, has been for its entire history, not a politically liberal uh, bunch of people, uh -huh. that they, they tend to lean conservative and that on the basis of one guy who's bang, one FBI agent who's banging another FBI agent, you know, emailing that FBI agent that, you know, that, that, that Trump will be a terrible president or something like that, is is not. Uh, the liberal media likes to tell me that FBI agents are allowed to have political opinions, um, but that I think in general and. Uh, the FBI was not interested in screwing over Trump. There was, and I find it unlikely there was, to the point of it being unbelievable, that there was a conspiracy to, uh, to, to screw over Trump, which I believe this memo is going to try to argue for, right? Okay. So... The reason I, I didn't want to talk about it is because it, we're in a wait and see mode. We yeah, so we agree no, about it. No the one really knows what it says, so why does anybody need our opinion on it? But I think it's very important now because I want to hear how the liberal media is preparing you to, just, to not believe it. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, because... The liberal, I haven't gotten anything from the liberal media about it. What, I, what I've gotten is um, what I've seen on Twitter, which is really not a, 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 a cohesive brainwashing organization. Yeah, they just, they just had a, an expose of it. Um, it turns out they, they throw out all the, a lot of the conservative uh, arguments. Well, whose expose was this? Uh, it was on Fox. Oh, okay, Fox. Um, no, but I mean, it, there was, there was a credible uh, 
Look, that's a, that's a separate discussion. I believe Twitter is the same as Google, it's the same as Facebook, it's the same as Wikipedia. They're all leaning left. And, and wait a minute, uh, Twitter is, uh, James O'Keefe did a sting on them and found out that... Oh, well, James O'Keefe has, should have zero credibility because his stings are... Well, he talked to people that actually worked there and said, yeah, we throw out... Uh, we throw out conservative stuff all the time because we don't like conservatives. He, he no, wait, did Twitter say that or did Facebook say that? Um, Facebook he, admitted something like that. Okay. I don't think Twitter No, did. well, he just did an expose on one of the big yeah, but social it, I don't, media It things. wasn't Twitter. I, I would have. it was Twitter. I yeah. don't think so. Because I and remember, so, plus I remember O'Keefe thinking is, it was funny. Is, you know, I've, I've, I spend... Of all the social media, I spend 99% of my time on Twitter, and I spend yeah. a lot of time on Twitter. And I believe that a lot of social media, and Twitter in particular, um, tends to be run by brainless algorithms. No, the, O'Keefe actually went and spoke with executives at Twitter who said that what we do is we get rid of conservative statements. We try to weight everything towards liberals. I, I don't think so. Well, the, the, these were people that actually worked at the company and had. I don't think you're. They, I think you're mistaking Twitter for some other social medium. All right, it doesn't matter. Let's well, it does that. because there's a difference between Facebook and Twitter. Oh well, it wasn't Facebook. But let's get back to the original subject, and that is the memo. Yeah, but uh, I haven't I believe, been. Uh, I believe you're being prepared because you're you're. Um, you're being there. What they're doing is they're they're telling you, don't believe Devin Nunez, don't believe James O'Keefe. You're going to hear some things, but just don't believe them. Okay. Well, well, well hold on. James O'Keefe is is has pulled some a bunch of bullshit. He's even been successfully prosecuted for, for some yeah, of that crap. Yeah, that's the only thing liberals know, that they don't know any more, any more about it. Like, I, can, I can go into his sting in, in details. You stings could? In give, detail. him, give, him, give me some facts about James O'Keefe. He was the one behind, he got, uh, was it Acorn? Uh-huh. He got them shut down for, um, he went in to Acorn with hidden cameras yeah. in places where it's not legal to do that, um, pretending to be, to be a pimp with a woman who was his whore uh -huh. and talk to Acorn and tried to get them to uh, s talk to them about running, I don't know, getting help with running a small business where the small business was pimping and whoring yeah. and using uh, selectively edited videos made it appear that Acorn would help a pimp and a whore. Which they would. And, and that's why they were shut down. No, well, no. And there you was hate like, him for that. No, that was, well, he got prosecuted for, I don't know if it was for that one. It wasn't one or for or that. For, they shut down Acorn because of that. Because Acorn's not supposed to give money to uh, whorehouses. Uh, well, here's the deal. Like, so I, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's Frickin discredited for well, no, I mean, I can talk about his other scams. Cross. All right, what other scams he done? Uh, he did the, uh, he had, he, he sent in a woman um, during the Roy Moore campaign in Alabama who was trying to get somebody, I believe, from the Washington Post soliciting money from a reporter at the Washington Post um, to be paid to say that she was molested by Roy Moore when she was a child. Yeah. And the reporter, finding something amiss, I think secretly taped the interact, taped the reporter, taped her busting um, this James O'Keefe plant trying to set up the Washington Post uh, to try to catch the Washington, trying to sting the Washington Post. Yeah. by lying and saying that they would take money to say they were molested as a kid. and um, That whole thing is unethical bullshit right no, there. No, I, th I think what happened, what really happened was, it's coming back to me because it's a while back, is somebody had made a, two months a, ago. a ridiculous claim 
and the Washington Post had sent out a guy and he was excited to find out about it. And, uh, and then, and then James O'Keefe jumped out and said, so are you, you're, here to, you're here to find more dirt on Roy Moore. And the guy from uh, the Washington Post ran away. Well, That's what really well, happened. No, this is not accurate at all because it was a no, female was Washington. We can, actually, we can go up. And no, look it's, at it's it a female Washington Re Post reporter busting this woman. No, th this was a guy. He, he uh, the Washington Post uh, reporter was a guy and ran away. The one I saw. He was afraid to talk to to, to O'Keefe. By the way, James O'Keefe voted three or four times in, in that in that election. Uh, and just to show that the Democrats are, uh, are, are uh, and he interviewed uh, the, the, to show that the Democrats cheat on these on these uh, elections. They, oh, another they, thing they, James O'Keefe did. No, no, wait a minute. No, no, no. You wanted you asked if I know about James O'Keefe because well, well, you I'm think adding, I'm brainwashed. No, by I'm the... adding things. I'm saying, do you think it's good that he went in and found that he could vote three or four times? Down in uh, where was I don't, it, I don't, I don't and trust. That he, and that he could vote in New York. He actually interviewed the commission, the voting uh, commissioner in New York, who said, "Yeah, we're right, well, busing." Here's, load, let me say busing, exactly what I think. They're busloading in Democrats. Like, I don't, he said. He's got. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You asked me. All you, right. All, all right. right. So I think he's got zero credibility. He's a scummy, underhanded guy who's been prosecuted for some of the bullshit. And he's you don't pulled. know what the bullshit is, though, do you? It could well, have been. It could have been jaywalking. It's Planned Parenthood stuff. Did Let's talk about Planned Parenthood. Yeah. James O'Keefe sends people in with hidden cameras. Now, Planned Parenthood. There's a deal where. Um, Planned, 3% of the services that Planned Parenthood provides um, are abortion. 97% aren't, but uh, yeah, Planned Parenthood does do some abortions. And when you perform abortions, often there's fetal tissue that is, the, that is removed as, as part of the abortion. Now, fetal tissue is good in research and good is good in advancing science. It's not just useless stuff that needs to be thrown away. You can do science with it, which is and science, medical science that's good for people. So Planned Parenthood provides legitimate researchers with fetal tissue. Um, and all the researchers have to do is pay for shipping, is reimburse Planned Parenthood for the costs of shipping the fetal tissue. Because I assume you have to you know, put it in dry ice or somehow protect and preserve it when you, if you're shipping it for 1,000 miles. So O'Keefe sends his people in to talk to Planned Parenthood and deceptively edits discussions about uh, uh, shipping and providing um, fetal tissue to make it sound as if Planned Parenthood is in the business of profiting from selling fetal tissue, which they're not. All they're doing is being reimbursed for costs. Uh, and he makes a whole frickin' video where it sounds like, ooh, Planned Parenthood is making you know, money hand over fist from aborted babies. Um, Can I respond now? Are you done? Sure. I mean, you asked about some of the stuff that okay, O'Keefe well, Now does. I get to respond. Okay. Okay. Um, what really happened was this. The, um, there are, I believe there are laws it's been a while since this happened, but there are laws against doing this, Rick. And the reason is that if it turns out that Planned Parenthood makes, it starts making a profit, like an unreasonable profit. Like they they're start, not in yeah, business to make that, a profit. No, no, no. For... I, I believe they were enriching themselves with fetal tissue. They weren't. Well, no, I believe they were. And it, it had nothing to do with his editing. They, um, the reason he, it was such a big deal to get him to admit it is because when you think about it, and since you're so intelligent, 
you'll be able to make the connection here. If you are more likely to make money by selling fetal tissue, if, if you're going to make money, if you're going to make profits by selling fetal tissue, then when a woman comes in, you're going to be more likely to encourage her to have an abortion. So okay, don't, this interrupt, is, don't interrupt me. Uh, don't interrupt just me. Just two words. Don't interrupt Entirely me. Entirely horseshit don't, right Don't interrupt here. me. Don't interrupt me. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. If, so the idea is there are very strict laws about selling fetal tissue because there are ethical complications. An organization that could advise you to have the child might decide to advise you to have the abortion so they can sell the fetal tissue. This is a dumb thing, by the way. This is just totally fucking dumb. Well, it's not dumb because, because it, the whole point is we don't want the person giving the abortion to have any uh, ethical uh, I, I understand. All right, all right. So, so I understand words, your words, argument, but right, it's a right. dumbass it's, argument. It's not a dumb argument because what happens is the... The, the person performing the abortion can't be the person selling the fetal tissue because many, many times people... Will but they're not them. selling fetal tissue. They're okay. just being compensated no, for shipping no, costs. No, 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 they're making, yes, yes, no. Yes, yes, no. yes. What, what O'Keefe found was that they're making healthy amounts of money doing this. And the, the executives at Planned Parenthood make very comfortable livings. And so he rightly pointed out that this was an ethical conflict of interest. This is all the purest horse crap. This is just, of anything you've said, this is probably the most demonstrably well, do you bullshit. you want to go upstairs and watch the video and watch the reactions to no, it? No, we'll do it over the, the, before we meet again, but it's horse crap. And let me use well, an it's, analogy. It's not horse crap. Let me use an analogy. It's exactly what we don't want. Let me want. use an analogous situation. It's exactly situ what we don't want. Yeah, but that's not what's period. happening. It's total well, bullshit. It's complete. Complete bullshit no, no. from a known liar, James no, O'Keefe, no, no, who is it, just a professional a-hole okay, well, for conservatives. I, I think the people that, that told you that are a-holes. Well, I you're, think you're just lying. you're just completely wrong here. And, and I here, think let me, you're let me, completely all right, wrong. Well, let me give no you no proof. Well, let me. You have no proof. I have proof on my side because I have love, seen the film of the lady saying, "Yeah, we make a good profit off of these fetal tissues. I encourage it." That's what I saw. All right, let's see the now, video. Now, I, I don't believe long, that. Let's go see that. we got to see it's that. A, it's a 10-minute video. Do we have 10 minutes to waste? Well, no, I just want to see it. You should be able to find the words pretty fast. If we can't find it fast, then no. 